Okay guys, before we dive into the video, I just want to show you Gastiel because he's so cute. Ready? Look at him! He's on a pillow. He's such a like snuggly cat. Anyways, let's dive into the video. Hey guys, welcome back. If you are new to my channel, my name's Brittany. And if you are not yet subscribed, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. So today I am going to read you two true scary stories. And you know, you know when you're watching something and it's a true, like based off a true story and it makes it so much creepier? That's these. So sit down, relax, maybe get some coffee and enjoy. So the first one is called Not My Mom. And it goes. When I was around six, my younger sister and I shared a room and we had bunk beds. My sister and I actually shared a room when we were younger and we had bunk beds. Um, I slept on the bottom bunk and the door into our room at the end of the room. Oh, sorry. And the door into our room was at the end of the bed but facing so that whoever entered walked past the end of the bed to get into the room. I had a nightmare one night and called for my mom in fear. As expected, she came into my room. I vividly remember her walking into the room, although I don't think I remember the door opening and the lights were off so I could only see her outline. She walked to the side of the bed and crouched down. So she was at head height and I started to tell her all about my nightmares. She hadn't said anything at this point, but I remember vividly talking to a person about my dreams. After at least a couple of minutes of talking to my mom about this nightmare, my bedroom door opens and my mom walks in. I remember being confused because I've already been speaking to someone crouched by my bed, but my mom walked to the door and asked me what was wrong. So I started to retell my nightmare. To this day, I have no idea who I was talking to at first, whether it was my six-year-old mind playing tricks on me or whether the scared shouts of the kids summoned some friendly mother spirit I could vent to. It's only in hindsight I'm scared by the encounter. At the time, I was comforted and then confused, but never scared, and it never happened again. I never spoke to my mom about this either. It's my only experience that really makes me believe in the supernatural. So that is crazy, you guys, that she had this nightmare, screamed, and it, spirit actually came to comfort her. So I wonder if it was like a grandmother or maybe it was um, a mother spirit. But that's, it, I love this story because it shows that there are good entities out there. Not all of them are malicious. So I do love that this, like, this could have been her guardian angel or something. That's such an amazing thought. And I actually did see, if you watch my video of my childhood ghost, I explained an encounter where I saw my mom, like, it looked like my mom from behind, but my mom left for work. So she wasn't in the house and it terrified my friends when I came out and like was talking about it because I was scared. Like I knew my mom had left, but then I was really confused. But yeah, definitely watch that video because I go into far more detail about it and it is crazy, you guys. So the next one actually has to do with the dream as well. And this one is called Evil Spirit Haunting Old Friends Apartment Appears to Me in a Dream. <laughs> so it goes. This happened to me years ago when I was back in high school. When I was in the 10th grade, I had a friend who I will refer to as A. One night while I was sleeping over at her apartment, A said she wanted to tell me something. 
and ask me not to freak out. I feel like when people say that, you instantly, like, your heart starts pounding. You're like, what? Like, what do you want to tell me? She then told me that she thought her apartment was haunted by an evil spirit of a little girl and that her mother didn't believe her. Okay, so evil spirits taking um, the shape of children. We've talked about this before, you guys. It is so common. Children are these innocent beings. And most people, you know, they trust children. They would never want to hurt a child. So demonic entities know this and they take advantage of that. So a lot of times they will appear to us as children because it's easier to trust a child. At the time, A didn't go into much detail on what the little girl looked like other than she had long dark hair like Samara from The Ring. A few months later, I had a dream. In the dream, I woke up in my bedroom and my lamp was on. I turned to face it and standing in front of the table I had it on was a little girl. She had long black hair, black eyes, deathly pale skin, wore a black long sleeve dress and was barefoot. Oh my gosh, that would be terrifying. She stood there completely still with her hands folded behind her back and smiled sweetly at me. The feeling I got from her though wasn't that of an innocent little girl. It was pure evil. I don't think I could ever describe the level of fear I felt while looking at her. I only looked at the little girl for a couple of seconds before I turned over and faced the wall. What I then saw still sends chills down my spine. Right in front of my face was a photo of A and her mom. I had never seen her or seen before projected on the wall. Jeff? Hello? Yeah. Sorry, Jeff and Sebastian walked in. Okay, right, so where was I? Um, I don't think I could ever describe the level of fear I felt while looking at her. I only looked at the little girl for a couple of seconds before I turned over and faced the wall. Or what I then saw still sends chills down my spine right in front of me was a photo of A and her mom I had never seen before projected on the wall. What made it terrifying was that A's eyes were blacked out. I then woke up still facing the wall. Sometime later, I was visiting A and she told me she saw the little girl under her bed. Oh my gosh, I couldn't, I couldn't do that. I asked her to go into more detail on what she looked like and it was exactly what I had seen in my dream. However, I was so terrified by this, I didn't say anything. I would later wish I had, because deep down I knew that little girl wasn't human. A while after that, A began behaving strangely. She was getting in trouble a lot and started skipping school. Slowly, A talked to me less and less. It got to the point where she would just walk right by me when we were in school. It didn't seem like she was ignoring me though. It was like she couldn't see me, walking right by me like a zombie. I was sure that A was possessed but I didn't know what to do. Her mom didn't believe that their apartment was haunted, nor did my parents. Eventually, A dropped out of school and I was sure I would never see her again. However, a while before the virus hit, I saw A again, working at a sandwich shop in the next city over where I live now. She was like she was back when we were in high school, not wanting to bring it up in public. I didn't mention anything about the spirit that haunted her in her mom's apartment. I haven't seen A since then and I'm not sure if I ever will. All I can say now is that I'm relieved that that thing seems to have lost its hold on her. It definitely seems like her friend did get possessed or at least the spirit was like latched onto her. Maybe not like a full possession, but very latched onto her. Um, I feel like her friend definitely should have said something to her about the dream, especially with the her friend, you know, being so open about it to her. I could not do the, the thing under the bed. Nope. No, thank you. 
I used to check my bed every night, like underneath my bed, my bed and my closet. It... Nope. Let me know what you guys think of these because, ah, the, oh. this one is so much eerier than the first one. The first one's like this happy one. And this one's just like, uh, no, thank you. And let me know if you guys have ever knew anybody that was possessed or experience something like this. If you liked this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, you guys, I love you so much and I will see you in my next video.